اعوذ بالله من الشیطان الرجیم بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم Today is the 22nd anniversary of the National Unity Martyr Dr. Ali Muzawi. I am honored that once again we have gathered and to respect and integrate promise to our Martyr leader. I want to clearly deliver my speech on Abdul Ali Mazari and his thoughts. It was 1947 that a child born in the village of Nanwai, Chorkin, district of Dao province in Afghanistan. He was no one else but Mazari. Shahid Mazari studied in private religious schools in Mazari Sharif, later in Qom, Iran, and Najaf, Iraq. Later on, after the foundation of the Nasser Party in 1979, during the invasion of Soviet Union, it was the rise of anarchy that he entered Afghanistan and wanted to be along with his, fam with his family and people. Dear audience, Dear Abdul Rahman, in 1890 it's estimated that more than 60% of the Hazara population were massacred and displaced. The condition of Hazaras were like Jews under Nazis or African Americans under wild races in the United States. Hereby his only wish was that being Hazara should no longer be a crime. He didn't fall for the civil right of Hazaras merely to other ethnic groups in Afghanistan. He was the only political leader who emphasized on national unity, social justice, democracy, women's rights, and election. He was assumed that the solution to the division in Afghanistan is an integral system of governance with each ethnic group having a specific constitutional rights. Furthermore, he said, we thank for the powerful arms of you people. If we want the people right, it doesn't mean we are hostile with other parties. We believe the toleration and acceptance of different parties will solve the problem, not the deletion of each other. We appreciate that we established the national unity in Afghanistan. In the year 67, they deleted our people, but we didn't come up obsessively. Instead, we won rights and share in huge political decision makings in Afghanistan. The time to rethink a nation religious or a party is past. Anyone who divides the nation is the national traitor. I believe that the national uniting Martyr Mazari is like Gandhi and Mandela for us. Because he was not lied to his people and not traitor like other politicians who wants everything for themselves. Of course, he is an example of Hussein, the grandson of Prophet Muhammad, who stood against the cruelty and dictatorship in the Battle of Karbala 1400 years ago and sacrificed everything to reject legitimacy to the injustice of the time known as Yazid. With all the issues that Mazari and Hazara people were struggling with, still Mazari had a hope and emphasized on education. And he was saying that we do need fighters in the battlefields, but as well as doctors, engineers, and used to have pen in their hands instead of guns. Dear brothers and sisters, the situation of Afghanistan and especially Hazaras after their leader was also critical. The assassination of Hazaras in Balkan Banyan 
by the Taliban was another case of ignoring Hazaras after the assassination of their leader. After 9-11-2001, an ousting of Taliban government from power, a new season created for the people of Afghanistan. Hazara people was the first who left their guns and started a new life, but still the conservatives, fundamentalists, ISIS, Taliban, and extremist groups targeting them. We see an example of killings on July 23, 2016. Two suicide bombers blew themselves during the peaceful protest in Janbashi Roshnai, the Hamazang Square in Kabul, killing almost 20 hundred and wounded over 20 people. In November 2015, Afghan civilians claiming loyalty to the Islamic State beheaded seven ethnic Hazara civilians, including a nine-year-old girl. In June 2010, at least nine Hazara men were killed in an ambush in Orozgan district. The Taliban took the responsibility and many other cases. Despite all of the challenges, still they are succeeding in every context of social, sport, education, and civilization. The dreams and thoughts of Shahid Nazari is alive and millions of people around the world follows his path. We wish the realization of his thoughts and ideas one day. As he said, the solution to the problem of Afghanistan is aim sight and winning Afghans, not through the foreigners. No matter when his thoughts will be implemented, but a time will come one day. There is a saying that an invasion of armies can be resisted, but not an idea whose time has come. Let me tell you the story of I Have a Dream of Martin Luther King, who was an African-American leader in the civil rights movement. In the year 1963, he had a speech in front of the Lincoln Memorial in a march on Washington for jobs and freedom. The speech was, I have a dream that one day on the red hills of Georgia, the sons of former slaves and the sons of former slave owners will be able to sit down together the table of brotherhood. I have a dream that my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin but the content of their character. So if today the United States of America had an African American president Barack Obama, don't forget that this was the dream an idea of a person. Ladies and gentlemen, in conclusion, as a student, as a student of Shahid Mazari's school and his follower, my message to the people of Afghanistan, especially those who follow his school, is to maintain his thoughts alive. Transfer it generation to generation and introduce him and his perspectives to others. Introduce him out of the specific ethnic border because he was thinking nationally so that the world, especially his enemies, know that maybe they took the life of their beloved leader but they never knew that Shahid Mazari left his thoughts and mission and millions of people soul around the world. Thank you very much. Once again, I pray for the soul of our martyr leader, our social justice martyr leader. May his soul rest in peace. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.